All right, so I got this uh, Acer, and it's a Revo. So right there is a model number. It's an RL80-UR23. Oh, yeah. So this computer, when you hit the power button, <laughs> it gives a beep code. So it's three beeps. Space, three beeps. All right, so let's take this apart. There is a screw right here. And the reason we're taking it apart is because I couldn't find any help online on what it could be. Okay, so I've tried everything. I disconnected this board. I bought a new RAM chip and put it in. I disconnected the hard drive, the CMOS battery, and the CPU fan. And I still have the same problem. Okay, so I wasn't able to find a new motherboard for it online. Uh, so I had to buy a refurbished computer, the exact same model. And I'm just going to take the hard drive from the old one and put it in the refurb so that everything is exactly the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it apart and change out the hard drive. You got this screw in the back. That allows you to take the top off. Okay, got these four screws here. And pop this top panel off. So to get the hard drive off, you gotta get access to the bottom side of the motherboard. In order to do that, we have to take the whole thing out. Alright, so to get this thing off, you gotta remove your CPU fan. You got four screws here. And then we got four standoffs we need to remove. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And then you'll have to disconnect the cables from the wireless card here. So we'll need to remove the audio input-output. And then we should be able to remove the motherboard. So let's go ahead and do that. So the audio card here is just a plug in the back of the card you gotta pull up on. There you go. And these little cables, you can just get a fingernail underneath them and then pop them off. Alright, now we can take off this entire motherboard. Just grab onto it right here, pick it up this way. There you go. Now underneath here, you got these four screws, and then that will allow you to remove the hard drive. So we gotta take those out. Okay, now we can remove the hard drive. Just slide it out like that. And to put the old hard drive into the new one. So before we put the hard drive on, we need to make sure we transfer these four pads over to the new motherboard. So the only reason I had to transfer the standoffs from the old motherboard to the new one is because the refurbished uh, people did not do that. They didn't put the standoffs on the um, refurbished motherboard before putting the hard drive on. So really they they screwed up and they could have uh, shorted something out and ruin the computer so just something to note and 
and put it back together. So before you put the motherboard in, you want to make sure there's a little sticky heat sink pad right there in the middle of this square block. That's so you get heat transfer from this processor to this heat sink pad. So you want to make sure that's there or stuck on here before you put the motherboard back in. If you don't see it, you need to find it or use some heat sink compound. Now I am going to go ahead and clean off this CPU and the CPU fan and put new heatsink compound between them. So to remove the heatsink compound I'm just going to use a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. Be careful I don't drop any of this into the fan. I'm just picking all this big stuff off with a toothpick first. I'll clean the rest up with a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. So removing this and reapplying some new will make sure that you don't have any air gaps in between the heatsink and the CPU. So the heatsink compound is Arctic Silver 5, high density polysynthetic silver thermal compound. Got it from Radio Shack. Put a dab of heatsink compound on the CPU and then put very much because you're not going to need a lot to do this. And I'm going to spread it out real thin. Make sure you cover the entire metallic pad here on the CPU. All right, and then clean up your fingers. All right, let's go ahead and put the CPU fan back on. Now I'm going to put the standoffs in. Make sure you plug your CPU fan back in. Something I'm going to have to transfer from the old one to the new one are these pads. So there's this pad here, this pad here, and this pad here. And that's so you get continuity or short from these spots to this top plate. That way you have a nice ground plane and uh, uh, a solid ground going to these components from here to there and there to there. Probably just to reduce noise, make sure there's no excess noise floating around. Alright, now I want to test this out before I go putting the top cover back on, so let's go do that. Okay, so let's boot it up and see how it goes. Looks good. It did uh, have an error. The first time I booted it up, it said it had a CMOS error. I just went to CMOS and then I exited. 
and then it went away so I don't know what the original error was from but everything's working now so if you get a CMOS error when you first boot it up just enter CMOS by hitting delete and then I just went to exit do not save changes and exit and everything was fine after that so everything's working now let's go ahead and put the covers on okay so I'm putting this top cover on the front of it has some little hooks here right in the middle where the power button is you gotta get those hooked in first and then snap everything in alright one last screw here okay we're good to go 